the local author, UW Platteville history professor and author David Krugler. Good morning. Good morning. Um, we were just talking in the commercial break about kind of this idea, the fascination of that time period and spies and the bomb. You set this in the nation's capital. Tell people the story. Well, it's a World War II spy thriller set in the closing months of World War II. So it's April 1945. We're in the nation's capital. We're in Washington, D.C. Victory is imminent, but a new threat looms. The uh, alliance between the United States and the Soviet Union is breaking apart. And the major reason, although it's not known to uh, but, but a few people, is that the Soviet Union is stealing the secrets of America's atomic bomb program. Goodness. And so it's set in D.C. I mean, we have a number of, of black and white images yeah. that we can show. How fun was it to kind of go back and try and recreate 1945 Washington? It was a blast. I, I've always been fascinated by Washington, D.C., and this was a most exciting time to be there. Imagine being young and you go to the Capitol, you get a job as a clerk or a typist in a government agency or you're a service uh, person in the military. Uh, the city's bursting at the seams. Everyone's contributing to the war effort 24 hours but uh, uh, you know around the clock but they still mm -hmm. want to have fun. Mm -hmm. How different was it for you to and we kind of talked about this as well to uh, base this on history instead of writing just about history? It was a lot of fun because I was able to start with nothing and create something, but that was also kind of terrifying <laughs> mm -hmm. because as a historian, I'm used to starting with all my research and having a big stack of documents and, and making sense of that. Uh, but once I eased into it and said, look, you know, let your imagination run wild and just refer to what you know as a historian as needed to set the time, set the place. What, makes, what makes a good murder mystery to you? I mean, it's something I assume you read. Right. Well, uh, obviously you have to have a good plot and you can't have something where people figure out who done it right away. <laughs> but I think what's really important is to have characters that people <coughs> relate to, even if they're not always the likable people. Uh, that's present and that are present in uh, other forms of fiction. So if you can have that connection and draw people in, they want to see the story through, they want to see who did it, but they also are committed to your character, then I think you've got a good mystery. Now between teaching and being a historian at uw Platteville and being a writer, have you chosen a favorite yet? <laughs> I still love being a historian and a teacher. Uh, you know, I have a great job. I get up every day and I go in and my students make my job exciting because they're always seeing history that's familiar to me in different ways and that keeps it fresh for me. That's interesting. So there's a, a program you're going to have an opportunity to present this book tomorrow night and Mystery to Me which is on uh, Monroe Street. Uh, you're going to be interviewed by Doug Moe, wonderful guy. He's a, yeah. a visitor to this show a number of times tomorrow night 7 p.m. 1863 Monroe Street Mystery to Me bookstore. David Krugler, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming in. We yeah. appreciate it. Good Absolutely. luck with the new Thank book. Thank you so much. Thanks Appreciate for coming in. Reading it. My pleasure.